Hi everyone, Massimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I want to talk about layout. I get a lot of questions about these inside of the CRM. What is a layout? Why would I use a layout? What's the difference between a layout and a pipeline? Things of that nature. And so in today's video, I'm going to go over what is a layout, why you would use it, and uh, some do's and don'ts with it. So as always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you. And feel free to join my office hours. They're a great way to meet me, ask questions. It's kind of a jam session. Many people are in it. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. All right, so let's get into this. So what I'm gonna show you, like I said in the intro, is what is a layout, right? And so where these live is back in the settings, modules and fields, and then here are all your modules, right? So each module can have layouts. Now, let's talk about layouts a little bit. First off, each module can only have three, right? So the most common place I see layouts is in the deal module, and I'll talk about why in a minute, but keep that in mind that you can only have so many of these. So as you're planning this out, be careful about how many you're planning to use, because there is a limit. So what is a layout? The best way to think of a layout and how I tell people is you should use a layout if you have a completely different set of fields that you need to track in that transaction, in that lead, in that account, etc. So for example, in our business, we have a service side of our business where people come to us asking for Zoho help and we customize their system, right? So we might have 40 fields there, their scope of work, how much budget they have, what type of industry they're in, etc. We also have another business that sells products. So we build products on top of Zoho. Now in that side of the business, it's all one company, but on that side of the business, we keep track of how many users they are. Are they monthly or yearly? What is their subscription amount, etc. And so they're very different types of businesses and they require very different types of fields. So that's when you start wanting to do layouts. That's the first area you should start thinking about. The second area is if you have different staff members that are allowed to see different sides of the business. So in that example I just gave, let's say I have 10 staff members and five of them are only allowed to see the service business and five of them are only allowed to see the product business. So you can see here this shared to allows you to segment that a little bit. And so keep that in mind as well. If you do have different types of businesses, different types of leads, whatever, that may make sense for layout. So those are the two big reasons. And like I said, keep in mind, it's different fields completely. So some people ask, well, what's the difference between pipelines and layouts? A layout customizes all the fields. So you can have completely different fields in layout A versus layout B. All the pipeline does is it allows you to have different stages. So you could have one layout with three different pipelines. And so the layout could be services and the pipelines could be big service, little service, medium service, right? That's the difference between the two. Layouts are much more intensive. So if I hit new layout in this example, it's gonna automatically clone the existing one. And if you have more than one, it'll ask you, which one do you wanna clone? And now you're in this new layout. So I'll just call it uh, new layout. And now you can go through and customize everything that you need in here that is different or that you want to be different. So you can get rid of these fields, right? You can add new fields in. I have a bunch of videos on that stuff. Now, when you save it, you can see here, this is the permissioning side I mentioned. So you may at this point be like, okay, well, Jim at this company or this division is allowed to see it, but not Michael. And so you have to do it by basically the profile. However, it, it's, it's very doable to do. So we'll hit save. So now we have two layouts, right? So you would go through and customize this. All these fields you can delete, you can add new ones, and it won't affect the original layout. So here are some benefits of it. If I go to deals now, you can see I can click here and go to this layout, or I can click and go to this layout, right? So now you can have completely set different sets of business in one place, completely different sets of fields, etc. cetera. Here are some other benefits. When you run reports, you can say only show me stuff in layout A. When you write workflow rules, only run workflows for layout A, et cetera. It's a really great way within one CRM to start segmenting your data. And a lot of people use these. I would proceed a little bit with caution. Just think about it before you do it. Cause like I said, you can't make 40 of these. You can't even make 10. You're maxed at three. So I would really think about it before you make them. But that's basically what they are. That's how you make them. That's how you use them. And uh, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you and uh, I'll see you in the next video.